Hirofumi Yoshida is an enigma in the Chainsaw Man universe. First introduced during the International Assassin's Art, Chapter 55, who was introduced by Makima. She also brought him on to be one of Denji's bodyguards. Yoshida is contracted with the Octopus Devil. He can summon parts of the Octopus Devil, kind of like how Aki can summon parts of the Fox Devil. His tentacles are pretty versatile. He can use them to attack opponents, and we've also seen him use it to protect himself. His tentacles can actually produce kind of like a smoke screen. We've seen Yoshida use this to blind his opponents. In the International Assassin's Art, we see him have a quick fight with Quan Z. We got to see him have a little back and forth fight with her and it was pretty impressive. He got a few good moments but he did lose that fight but it's not really that big of an L because Quan Z was considered like one of the most powerful figures in the whole Chainsaw Man universe at this time so losing to her isn't really that big of an L. He's even shown to receive Kishibi's respect as well. We're already seeing Fujimoto kind of build up Yoshida even in part 1. After International Assassin's Art, we don't really see Yoshida anymore in the rest of part 1 but in the second part of the Chainsaw Man manga we see him as a reoccurring character he actually attends the same high school as denji and spends most of the time with denji as well it was actually in chapter 103 where we learned yoshida is working for an unnamed organization and he is tasked with observing denji yoshida stated that their sole purpose was to ensure denji has a peaceful life it really just came off as vague and this whole organization just like keeping tabs on him is really sketchy and it really just adds another layer of mystery to yoshida's character on top of being connected with makima at some point he's also working for this unknown organization organization that's keeping tabs on Denji. It just leaves me with a lot of questions like why is Yoshida so involved? How is the organization connected to all of this? Why are they so fixated on Denji? Was Makima aware of this since she was so fascinated with Denji and Chainsaw Man? Was she in on it? There is a correlation. Yoshida has been tasked to be Denji's bodyguard by Makima and this organization is asking to do the exact same thing basically. There might be a connection at some point. There's no way Yoshi's playing just the role of like a bodyguard. He must play like a bigger role in this. And this wouldn't be like too far fetch to say something like that because if you guys remember makima did have political ties to the japanese government there could be some really deep connection here behind the scenes so to make it weirder back in part one of the manga during the international assassins arc remember when power and kobani ran over one of the immortal brothers the brother assassin contracted with the skin them after that we got a panel of yoshida killing one of the immortal brothers in an alleyway what's really shocking about this moment is that yoshida was there and the fact that he was able to kill him and kind of make fun of the other little brother too this was all really just a weird moment because Yoshida just seems so ominous and ruthless. Knowing he's associated with a mysterious unnamed organization and with Makima at some point, the possibilities and assumptions around him are endless. In the second part of Chainsaw Man manga, chapter 115, everyone is pretty much trapped in an aquarium that is thought to be the Eternity Devil. We actually see Yoshida and Denji having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yoshida was telling Denji he had accepted death while stuck in this Eternity Aquarium. But what surprised us a lot actually, Yoshida asked Denji, does he think Chainsaw Man could eat the Death Devil? Is Yoshida linked with the Death Devil? Is the organization that Yoshi works for linked with the Death Devil? Let's think about this. He must be associated with the Death Devil some way or form. The other horsemen showed up, Famine Devil, and War Devil showed up in this arc as well. All the horsemen must be showing up sooner or later. So it got me thinking, what if the Death Devil is behind all of this? What if the Death Devil is associated with the organization? What if the Death Devil is actually the whole mastermind and the Death Devil is really the main antagonist? I want you guys to think about that because the first part of the Chainsaw Man manga revolved around manipulation. Genji was mini manipulated by multiple people this idea of manipulation could be a reoccurring element in the story it could definitely be possible i mean to casually name drop one of the four horsemen like that that's insane like you guys have to understand the weight of what yoshida just said there like that isn't just like some random name that's the death devil it really just leaves a lot of theories and ideas he brings all these crazy assumptions and theories because he is so mysterious on top of mentioning the death devil in chapter 115 in chapter 117 we see yoshida and family these panels gave off a really ominous vibe. The same vibe I got when I was reading part one when Yoshida killed the immortal brother. And now it's been confirmed that Yoshida has contacted or interacted or even mentioned every horseman. So he must play a role with horsemen. Fujimoto must be building him up for a much greater role in the story. Maybe we might even see the Death Devil soon as well because at the end of that chapter, 117, we got to see Yaru attempt to make Denji into a weapon. Maybe since we got left on this cliffhanger, maybe Denji might die or or have a quick little interaction with death. Like I said, all the horsemen have been showing up. Maybe Death Devil will show up sooner than later. But again, this is also just another theory, but these theories happen because Yoshida is involved in the story. And I think Fujimo is very much planning something big. What do you guys think about Hirofumi Yoshida? How do you think he's relevant in the Chainsaw Man universe? Let us know in the comments. And again, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate all the support.